from Dallas to Los Angeles and a screen near you. Here is B Wildcat 2. What's happening, YouTube? This is B Wildcat 2 here. Back today with some more quick clips here in MLB 12 The Show, Road to the Show, with uh, the center fielder BJ Wild coming to a game against the Chicago White Sox. Wild is batting sixth in the order today. I think there's a. Uh, I don't know if this is the only game on this clip or not. The video is about 13 and a half minutes long, and I think it's the one game itself. But, um, like I said, it's been a while since I've seen and recorded this footage. I think this is from either October or November. Um, you, I'd have better luck trying to find a needle in the haystack right now. But, anyway, we're going to take some batting practice with Wild here. And uh, he's hitting it around the yard on the ground and uh, through the air. Nice, almost a home run, just hit off the wall, double. He's got four bats left, and he cranks that one. That one, now he's just do it in a game. Dang, that bounced off the second deck and almost bounced into the third deck. And wow, oh my god. Oh, that's going even further, and that's the opposite field. Holy shit. Oh my goodness, and then that's a ripped for a double, and then this is going to be the bunt, if I remember doing this right. Yep. Bunting. So much fun. Alright, so here we are. There's the CN Tower in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. It's going to play host to this game between the Chicago White Sox at 7-6, and six, and the Toronto Blue Jays at 8-5 and five here at the Rogers Center in a 2016 game. Here's a look at... Nope, never mind. You don't get a look at the White Sox roster. Miss it? Too bad. Go back back and pause it real quick. Brent Morrill Brent will be the uh, fourth batter because there are two outs and a runner at first and here in the top of the first inning. First pitch is hit right at Wild. He has to maybe take one step back and makes the catch. And the side is retired. So we go to the bottom of the first inning. The White Sox get a hit, but it's nothing nothing our next player's event is going to be a, in a bat here in the bottom of the second inning they've got Jire Jurgens their pitcher and he's thrown a couple 24 pitches and now you see Wild has been struggling to start the season he's batting zero in four games he hasn't gotten a hit in four games so hopefully this game against the White Sox will change that as with one out the first pitch is a fastball for a strike Come on, Wild. Get a hit. You don't have to swing at those bad pitches. You know that, right? You and I both know that. It's an 0-1 count. See, you did it there. Good job. As a changeup, 1-1. One and one. Just work the count in your behalf and and launch it when you get that pitch. Slurve is a ball, 2-1. Should be 3-0, but it'll be 2-1 to Wild now. See if they give him a good pitch to hit here on 2-1. And he gets a good pitch to hit, but he's just behind the fastball, two and two to Wild now. With one out in the bottom of the second inning, two two pitch is outside. Slurve three and two to BJ Wild, working the count just like I said. It's good, good moment or good uh, at bat thus far. Now take this pitch and drive it. He does deep right center field, going back to the warning track at the wall, diving can't make the play. It's off the wall. Wild is getting stuck at second, and he's going to have to go back for a double. As he got glitched, that should be base runner interference. But a great at bat nonetheless, working the count, getting a pitch he liked, and doubling it off the right center field wall. I think they'll show the replay of me getting glitched and and couldn't, um, couldn't make the play. But look at that. Speaking of can't making the play, I wanted to get a triple, but I got glitched behind the second baseman. So now I'm on second base with Steven Choi, the guy behind me coming up. And that was my first hit on the season, and what a good time for it to come. So now the Toronto Blue Jays mascot trying to get the crowd up on their feet with a one out. Nobody uh, has scored yet here in the bottom of the second inning. A 2-2 count to Choi. The pitch is strike three. You're done swinging. 
and it'll be two outs for Kelly Johnson. So now I, my mentality is if he makes contact, I'm going. So 2-2 two, two again with two out. The pitch. That's a walk, actually. It was 3-2. and two. So now with Dar it'll be 3-1 and one with two out. And the pitch is going to be grounded on the ground to first base. And the side is retired. Whoa! I was heading home and then he went whoop right back into second base. But, or third base. But after two innings of play, both teams have a hit but nothing else. As we head fo fast forward to Wilds next at bat. Here in the bottom of the fourth inning. The White Sox have two hits and Wild has one for the Blue Jays, their only hit on the game. And with two out here in the bottom of the fourth inning, the first pitch to Wild is a ball upstairs. 1-0 as Jair Jurgens is going to bring that fastball down for a while to swing at it. Now on 1-0 with two out, the pitch is popped foul down the left field line and out of play. Good. 1-1 one one as that's Slurved was on the corner, but he pulled it off down the left field line. 1-1, one, one, now two out, and the fastball is outside. It'll be 2-1 to Wild. Keep working the count, big guy. You'll get a home run or something eventually. 2-1, two, two out. The pitch is outside. 3-1, and one, and you got to think, they're going to give him something here in this hitter's count. 3-1 and one with two out, probably a good pitch to hit. 3-1 pitch to hit here is hit to right field, but it's in play, and it will be caught for the final out. So he works the count, but he flies out, so he gets an okay at bat. So as we head to the fifth inning, still no score here in Toronto. Will Castro is coming up to bat here in the sixth inning for the White Sox with 2-1 count and nobody out in the sixth. And that is hit to left field. Wild will make the play for the first out. Nicely done, B.J. Wild. So now fast forward to another at bat. This is the bottom of the sixth, I believe. He's one for two with a double, uh, and Toronto's up one to nothing now at this point. As he comes back up, and the Blue Jays still trying to get their fans on their seats, or fans out of their seats. Excuse me. Um. So now with two out and a runner on first here in the bottom of the sixth and a one to nothing Toronto lead. Wild is going to get first pitch here and he's going to drill it to deep left center field. Going back, going back, going back. It's gone. Oh my goodness, it's a home run. I told you. You keep working those counts and they're going to make mistakes. And Wild just drilled it. And that's a home run, his first in the 2016 season. And suddenly now Toronto has a three to nothing lead and Wild I mean times can't get any better for Wild. I mean he could be doing a little bit better at the plate, but this game has been good. I mean he's two for three with a home run and a double. And he could be three for three if he had gotten a little more on that last swing that was a fly out. So another fast forward to um, the top of the eight that looks like it's three to one. Toronto is Tom Bassett's going to come up now with two outs and runners at the corners with a 1-2 count wild and left still and the pitch is going to be grounded in the left field that's going to score a run it'll be 3-2 as wild cuts it off but it's 3-2 fast forward and it's still 3-2 as we end there at the bottom of the 8th inning with a runner at first and one out and Alfredo Aceves on the mound 2-3 for three with a home run and a double tonight and with one out and runner first, the pitch to Wild is a changeup down low for a ball. 1 0 to BJ Wild. As the White Sox have seven hits now on the game, the Blue Jays have six. With a 1 0 count, one out. Here comes the pitch to Wild. It's a slider upstairs for a ball. It'll be 2 0 to Wild. And Remember, he got a, he didn't even have time for a hitter's count last time around when he homered. 3-0 and to B.J. Wild as that cutter is taken downstairs for a ball. 3-0 and to B.J. Wild. Do you really want to throw him a fastball here? 
Well, they do, and he grounds. He was early on it, and he grounds into a double play. So the White Sox catch a break there. He gets a good at bat, but as we're heading to the ninth inning, still three to two thanks to uh, Wild's bat in the fourth, or no, it was the sixth. And that was going to be an out for a while. And like that, you could tell that was going to be a double play. So we had the top of the night, two out, and a runner at first. It'll be Will Castro. He'll be the last man to face the P- Toronto pitching here in a 3-2 game with a runner at first, the tying run. And the, he's the go-ahead run at the plate with two out. He's going to line one in the left field, and Wild is going to make the play. And the ball game is over, and the Blue Jays hang on to win again. I believe they're now 9-5. and five. An impressive game from Wild as he had two hits and a, a double and a home run. And he also made some nice fielding plays too. So things are going good for Wild. This is the start of the 2016 season. Um, like I said, there's going to be more quick clips. Probably one either every other day or one per day. Depending upon how I choose to do these. So BJ Wild it does has a great game. So he gets elected player of the game. Especially for that home run swing. The home run right there. And the double right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this style of uh, road to the show. I like doing this just one game at a time. Um, not live commentary or anything. I like doing this. Just recording and then re- and then recording the voiceover work afterwards. Just doing one game. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the one game or do you like the edited clips where it goes like the season goes along a little bit faster? Because... I mean, I'm liking this, especially since I'm pressed for time to try to get this done before MLB 13 the show. But, I mean, we'll, you guys will have to discuss what we want to do for MLB 13 the show's format, how we're going to do um, the episodes for that. So, Wild had a very good day, a six-pitch double in the second inning, a five-pitch flout in the fourth inning. A uh, three-pitch home run in the or first-pitch home run in the sixth inning and a three-pitch double play in the eighth inning. So three to two Toronto wins. And um, this video has about a minute left, and you'll see like some attributes and stuff. I think uh, that was probably Wild's best performance of the 2016 season to date. Uh, so thank you guys for. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am B Wildcat 2, of course, and um, look for another one of these pretty soon. These quick clips here in Road to the Show. As long as uh, at least um, keep looking for this, as well as the Rangers franchise. I know how much you guys like the Rangers franchise, so thanks for watching, you guys, and uh, I'll be talking to you guys again soon. Peace. Oh, and one more thing. Keep coming back for these, please. I like doing them, and I want you guys to like them as well. So, talk to you guys next time. Peace.